What's up everyone, TheFiveNewYork.com with a brand new video. Today we're looking at the Nike Air Hirachi LE Scream Green. Uh, 2014 was definitely a big year for the Hirachi Runner. Um, you know, came out in a bunch of colorways. And uh, this was one of them. This is the original Scream Green colorway. And uh, so anyway, the last time these had retroed in this colorway was back in the year 2000. Um, now I had the 2000 release and I purchased them for $20, no tax. Um, I actually purchased them uh, out on Long Island at the Riverhead Outlet. And this was before the Riverhead Outlet was, outlet was charging tax. And I just remember they had a whole stack of these things there. And instead of saying, you know, I love this shoe, one of my all time favorites. Instead of saying, All right, you know what, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of them. I only bought one pair <laughs> and that was it. Um, I, I kept them for many years, uh, probably eight or nine years, and then um, I got rid of them. But uh, when they retroed again, I was like, you know what, I got to pick up a pair. This time I had to pick it up in a 12 and a half because I picked them up in a 12 originally, and they always fit very snug. A lot of times I wore them without socks. And uh, so this time I definitely I picked them up in a 12 and a half, and they fit much better. Uh, these things run super tight. So whatever you typically wear, you should, in an Air Max 90, go a half size up from that. Some people had to go a full size up, but I recommend going a half because then it'll get a little too big. Um, overall quality was good. The, uh, the leather used was very nice. Um, my pair actually, actually uh, came a little bit messed up. I don't know if you can see that in the toe box right there, that crease, but... It, it, I'm gonna wear them so I didn't really sweat it. It wasn't like super bothersome, but uh, I should have probably doubled up on this colorway. Um, and now because it, they, they're starting to disappear, uh, especially in my size 12 and a half. But you know, with so many sneakers, after a while, you're like, you know what, I'll just get the one pair and just go about my life. So, you know. If it's a shoe, if it's your all-time favorite, and you know you're gonna beat them up quick, I would recommend dev you know doubling up on these because you don't know the next time you're gonna see this colorway. But if it's a shoe that you know you have amongst many shoes that you own that you know you'll get around, you'll wear them every now and then, then one pair I think is good enough. But unless you're trying to stock to flip, so that's that's a different story. But anyway, um, so overall quality is nice. You know the price right now. It ranges from eighty dollars to a hundred and fifty, I'd say, uh, and the quality is just super nice for the price point. Anyhow, guys, um, the next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys what these look like on your feet with shorts with jeans. Also, um, there was a picture. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Color of Night. But uh, I actually posted it on Instagram where Bruce Willis was wearing these same colorway in that movie. And he was rocking it with some uh, old school uh, Ralph Lauren. Um, but you can go Google that and uh, next part of the video I'm going to show you what they look like on your feet with shorts with jeans. Alright everyone, so that's the video. Got to see what they look like on your feet with shorts, with jeans. Um, any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to drop me a line. And uh, as always, stay tuned for more videos.